Hey everybody, Joel Norton here, and today I am reviewing Bad Religion's Suffer album. This album came out in on September 8th, 1988, and it was put out on Epitaph Records, which is ran by uh, Brett Gorowitz, who is the lead guitarist for Bad Religion. Um, as most of you know, last year, 2022, it was the first year I actually got into punk heavily. I had prior to in 2021 there was a couple punk songs that i got thrown at me and i, I was rehooked on songs from my childhood off of tony hawk pro skater 2 uh specifically bad religions you which led me to delve a little deeper and we started reacting to them on our channel so after we did the whole album uh this has been in constant rotation for me almost for the entire year and some songs have stayed in my list. Some songs have dropped off. Uh, I'm just going to break down the songs that have stayed for me. The lowest song, in my opinion, on the album or the worst. And then give you my overall rating. So, this album starts off with You Are the Government. Which is great lyrically. Kind of a reminder as a citizen in society you have the power of the government as a whole it's the people right and it's got a nice melodic start it's not too fast paced and blistering that you're you know if if you're new to punk it's like whoa this is too much it's just perfect for that i wouldn't say it's the best track on the album but it's absolutely not the worst and it's above average for sure um that song is followed by my personal favorite 1,000 More Fools, and just the build-up for 1,000 More Fools, and then when it hits, mm, beautiful. It just got a lot of that attitude, but lyrically is very clever, and almost every track on this album will have you reaching for a thesaurus, because you're like, what the hell does this word even mean? Our words in, in the most, most uh, examples. Uh, the other one that I really loved was Give You Nothing, and for this one... It, I really like the differential of sound here, especially in the midway point of the song where there's just a nice like breakdown. Everything slows down. Love that. Knocks it out of the park for me. This one's been on constant ro uh, rotation in my playlist for sure. Um, some of the other ones I really, really loved. Uh, Best for You, Suffer. Uh, part two, n the numbers game. That's another one that's really good on this album um do what you want and i i would go out and say the do what you want is probably a top a top five song easy um and i think if you look at the views on spotify it yeah it's got 11 uh 11 million listens i should say views listens um, so it's up there, but it, it looks like you 21st century boy and punk rock song and American Jesus are above that. But yeah, the, I think if you're trying to get somebody into bad religion, especially if it's this album in particular, I think do what you want part two's numbers game and, uh, a thousand more fools are great ways to go. And I probably put give you nothing in there as well. I think the only thing that takes away from this album is that in whole some of the songs while lyrically are great the sound is just a lot similar to other songs on the album and it kind of just has this overall sound throughout uh so some of them end up kind of dropping off my in my playlist because they sounded similar but just not as good as some of the other tracks and uh by no means is any song bad on this album i think every song is above average on this album but there are just some great tracks and uh, I think in, in whole, like I said, I, I really love the blistering pace of this. At, at times, there's just a nice rhythm, and the lyrics are just blooming here. Like, this is where this, it starts. Like, I, I was like, damn, these lyrics are awesome, and you want more of that. So I think the lyrics alone would keep me coming back to Bad Religion, uh, but Greg's voice is awesome, especially in, in this album. Um so for me, this is going to go at 8.7 as an overall album rating out of 10. Um, like I said, really, really enjoyed this. I think this is a great, just like if you want to get somebody into punk, uh, 
I like I said, I have shown a few people this album, and while it didn't, if they liked a song or two off of it, the issue that they had was that the overall sound was similar, and I can see that. But I think this is probably up there with one of my favorite Bad Religion albums. I think if you want a little more diverse, this like this it still has this sound. It's a little better quality and it's just a little more diverse, I believe. It would be no control. Um but I think this this album in general just has a, a special place in my heart just because of the uh you know getting me into punk. And which is crazy because it's it's a lot of uh a lot of people in punk, it's their gateway, uh, Suffer was and almost five years from being a forty year old album and it's still getting people into punk music. Uh, and I am a prime example of that statistic. So, yeah, I think this is a fantastic album. I think I'd say it's a classic punk album. Uh, it's a must listen to if you're like, hey, I want to get into punk. I'm going to check, check some different punk bands out. I think this is one of the top tier albums that I would suggest. Um but yeah, guys, I I figured uh, we better hurry up and drop this review. Uh, I'm going to try to do some more album reviews and kind of mix those in with my book reviews and stuff. Um, guys, if you enjoyed my re review of the album Suffer, do us a favor. Hit like, subscribe, come join the community, have some fun with us. Also, if you want to see the entire reactions that Chuck and I went through initially, um for this album front to back. There is a playlist on our channel and uh, you can check that out. All right. Until next time, guys, peace out.